Hello guys. Thought I'd give the um, FG Falcon some attention. Um, I've had it for close to two years. Um, yeah, G6E Turbo, um, Mark 1, 2008 model. Uh, I originally bought the car and I, was, I used to drive around on weekends and, and I had like a little Ford Fiesta, I used, I used to use it for work. And then, um, yeah, I got sick of the Fiesta, so I ended up selling it and then turned this car into a daily. So yeah, it's a bit of a workhorse, so I use it to tow the Escort and tow trails around and to or from work and yeah, it cops a lot of kilometers, but um, yeah, it's got 278,000 Ks on it when I bought it, it had 239, so I've clocked up some Ks, but um, yeah, she's going strong, very strong. So all I had to do was put this cold air intake set up on it. Old mate who bought it off, he just used a bit of sheet metal and tech screws and yeah, it wouldn't have passed rego. Um, so yeah, got that done to it originally when I bought it. The, um, it was sitting way too low at the front. He had the factory struts in it, but he put King's coil springs in it and it's it ridiculously low. Like your bottom out and speed bumps, like going through shopping centers and stuff. So I put XYZ adjustable um, McPherson struts in it. Um, that solved that problem. Got it lifted up a fair bit. And on the back, it already had the XYZ adjustable rear coil. So, um, Lifted it up a bit, but I think this the coils start to sag because I'm almost I've almost run out of adjustment to go up. But where it's sitting now, it's pretty good. But um, I've had it in twice at transmission place, just solenoids and stuff packing in, in the um, ZF six speed transmission. So apart from that, it's just a good all round car. I've put new tyres on it. Went up the biggest tyres I can literally get on the back two seven fives. Um, but yeah. It's been a really good car. The exhaust is factory. It's just got a muffler delete. It's just basically a factory, factory um, motor really. Nothing's been pulled apart. Just the basic stuff, the basic mods. But what I do to it now, I've noticed the um. Originally, when I bought this, I didn't. I used to have a, a BA Mark II GT and had the bulge in a bonnet, and I always liked that in the Falcon. So I ended up buying a bonnet for it, and I repainted it in this color, which is Lightning Strike Silver, but. As per usual, with um, when it comes to silver paints, they're difficult to match. Apparently, so I was pretty devoted. I, I got the I got a small pot of the paint mixed up, and then I painted the bonnet and didn't marry didn't match up properly with the guard, so I had to blend it in, which sort of worked okay. But now I'm starting to get a bit of the clear coat starting to come off, so I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to take it right back in those areas. And so what I've done of also yeah the boot the boot needs painting it's it's gone for the car's mostly under shelter even at work and when i got it at home but yeah this area here sort of is closest to the sun the carport so the boot's got to be repainted i won't do the bottom section i'll do the top i'll do the roof but this is basically just a just a cover up really eventually i want to paint the car properly but i've got i've got a bit going on at the moment i've got the escort i'll have to get it through engineering and then I've I've got the, the XB coupe, so yeah, this thing's just gonna um, I'll just keep it nice and tidy, do what I need to do to it. And eventually, I'll give it a full respray. But I want to do it properly. I want to have a bit of time off work, and I don't want to do the little rush up rush job. So eventually, yeah, I'll have to take all the paint right back. Heaps. It's gonna be a big job, but at the moment, yeah, I'll just do little things and keep it keep looking alright. So I've dug out some of my old. Um, paints and stuff so I've got the Universal Primer Fella I wasn't going to use any primer on the roof and the boot but um, I'll use the primer on here on this and then um, and on the roof but I won't worry about using it where I'm going to blend it in and on here um, and I won't touch this area I'll tape it up um, but yeah is the paint I got mixed up. Turns out it was um, moon dust, moon dust silver metallic. It's meant to be lightning strike silver, but when we matched, got lightning strike silver, we tried matching with this paint, yeah, it was different. So it's either faded, or I don't know what's going on, but um, the panel beater, we both looked at it and that was the closest we could get 
to the been a similar color so eventually when it comes to time I'll just do the whole car in one I'll get one batch of paint mixed up and I'll do the whole car probably and um for my I've run out of this that's plastic stuff spewing generally um when it comes to doing the clear coat no matter what you do no matter how hard you try you always get dust in your paint so what I've done in the past I've got this plastic and I made it sort of cover that covers the, the, top, the upper areas where you're painting and that worked really good but now I've run out of this stuff I've really yeah I've, um, it's gonna make it a lot more difficult like it's you can get the dust in it and sand it out but it's so much more time I'm, I'm like wasted time so what I'm thinking I might do I've got this plastic stuff I got it from um, Spotlight. So they use it for kids' parties, like a tablecloth sort of stuff. So yeah, it's pretty good. I'll do. I'll, I'll, I'll have to join it up, but I'll make. I'll make a, a sort of cover. It covers the roof and the boot, and I'll have to close the shed up and open the windows a little bit. It's going to be. Um, yeah, I'm going to have to be super careful. I've got a, a respirator too, so I don't have to worry about. Um, Probing the fumes in because it's going to get pretty toxic here where the, the garage door is closed. What I'm doing now, I'm just protecting the area. So I just put the whole sheet over the whole car and I just cut across here like so. Pull it back a little bit and tape it. Just cut the rubber there. I'll trim it. Hit it. That's right. Um, so yeah. Um, yeah, the windscreen's in a sorry state too, so I'll end up having to replace that eventually. All the pop to see through here, but it's all gone funny. But, uh... So I've got these areas all taped up. So I'll start with the, the boot and the roof. I'll clear coat the guards later when it's ready to do clear coats, because I'm only going to get over spray on it. Um, so yeah, I've got this 600 grit sticky back wet and dry paper. So I'm using the Dura block, the soft box. So I just sandpaper ready, but there, get it ready. Um, and yeah, I'll just give it a dry sand. Not going to worry about wet sand. I have to correct here too. Paintless dip removal tool, fix that. Um, but yeah, just a basically a scuff up and a good scuff up on this. Um, and when it's ready, I'll just use a bit of. Um, I've got this. Adhesion promoter. But um, yeah, I wouldn't use it in the whole car, but I'm only just, I have got primers here. But um, it's just a rush job, really. It's gonna have to be done properly, regardless of what I do now, but. But um. I um, got to the point of sanding the roof, sanding the boot. I used um, six up. Oh, 400 grit, 600 grit. I was hoping to go to 800, but I ran out of paper. So um, I ended up going 600, uh, 400, 600, then 1,000. So um, I went to use my primer and got this primer filler, a primer filler here, and I went to use this hardener. And it's not the right hardener. The stuff I had went hard, so I had to throw it out. So. Um, yeah, I had to go to auto shop and auto barn and bought this primer filler. It's not my favourite because it doesn't come out as smooth, like it doesn't atomise as well in spray pack. But um, it is what it is, but I've tried going through this data sheet and yeah, just can't use it. I rang up um, Auto Lack in Newcastle and um, he said, yeah, no, it's not, not the best idea to use this that harder it's meant for the 2k like primer up like paints and stuff so bugger so what i just have to use this primer filler and it's pretty hot here at the moment it's like 38 degrees so it'll um it'll set pretty quick so i'll put that on now whilst i'm um hooking the watermelon at the moment on special at woolies at the moment so yeah i'll put this um i'll put the primer on it and whilst that's setting, I'll put a, like, I'll make a, a clear, make it like a, a cover over top of it. 
using this table mats material. Made this enclosure, like a cover it goes over the car. Um, no matter what you do, you're always going to get dust and rubbish falling in there. So I keep all the doors closed, put all my um, PPE on, respirator and stuff. And then, um, yeah, it just, just um, helps heaps when it comes to getting less dust in your clear. So I'm just waiting for this primer to, um, to go off completely. It's come out pretty smooth. I won't need to do much to it. And, um, I'll just have to go over the car now and look for areas where, when you've got a lot of paint in the air in here, it gets in areas like down here, for example, get on those wheels, get in everywhere. So just have to go over it now and make sure it's all good. Let's get the paint ready. Bloody nice. Got the respirator. It's really good that. I had a, I bought one off eBay in the past and it just, yeah, you could still smell the chemicals in the air. I thought, yeah, no, nah, that's not good. <laughs> so yeah, that one there, you wouldn't know, like you could be in, um, in it could be really fumy in here and you could just, it feels like you're breathing fresh air, so. Wow, fresh paint, it looks so nice. Yeah, a little bit goes a long way. More so with um, two pack paints, but this color, yeah, it won't need a real lot of it because it's gray underneath, so. So yeah, good to go. Give it a two coats. Almost looks like it's ready. But no, my luck. I'll put clear coat over it and go out the sun and then I'll see the tiger lines. I've had it before, it's pretty devastating. But um, looks really nice. So um, I made the mistake in the past. I put clear coat on way too soon. Well, might not have been more so how soon I've done it after I put this color in, the metallic color, but it's how, how much coats I put on for the clear straight up. I put it on too thick. And yeah, I've got a condition they call mottling where all the flakes, all the flakes in the paint all gather up together. Then yeah, it um, doesn't look too good. The Escort's bonnet's actually got it. I was um, here doing the escort before a night shift and yeah, the, you know, set the timer up between coats and yeah, I got too generous with the coats, too short a time, in a rush, you know, getting ready for night shift and um, yeah, got modelling in the bonnet, so, but the rest of the car's alright. Finished. It's come out pretty good, a little bit of orange peel. A little bit of dust here and there, like there. But, um, yeah, the boot come out amazing. It's like glass. I'm trying to get a good light where you can see it, but yeah, it's come out really good. Pretty happy. A little bit of dust there. It's kind of expected, but I've got the respirator on because it's pretty fume in here. I can't, can't open the, um, I can't open the doors and that because all the dust will just come in and cause some dramas. But... Yeah, it's well worth it. I um, use this light here. I didn't get any mottling either, which is a good thing. But um, I look at it here. And yeah, I can't tell the difference from this point from the, uh, the original colour and the new paint. I'll have to wait and see when I get out in the sun.
absolutely stoked with the result. Um, the only way I can tell the difference is that there's a bit of orange peel in this new paint. The old paint's it's got no orange peel. So yeah, maybe it might be different during the sun, but that's bloody well close. So um, just needs a good cut. I'll, I'll hit it with the um, probably hit it with the 800, the thousand, and two thousand, and give it a cut. But um, overall, I'm so happy with that paint. I, I only got 500 mil, 500 mil mixed up, so I'm thinking I might get some more because this bonnet is just garbage. So, it's, when I was making the turbo manifold for the Escort, they got grind and sparks on it. Stupid, I had the car parked nearby. I was just some, in so much of a rush, I didn't even think about it, but that's not the reason I want to paint it. It's just, you can you can see there, it's it's not even the same. See, that's Remix paint in Lightning Strike Silver, um, and that's the factory colour, but I've tried to blend it in, but it, that is too far different, so... What I'll do, I'm I'm really happy with the um, the panel better I went to. Obviously knows his stuff because yeah, he's, he's he's all over it. He mixed up the paint and yeah, it's so close to the the factory paint. So what I'll do, I'll get more paint mixed up. And when I'll get uh, when I'm when I feel like doing it again, I'll, I'll do the guards, their bonnet, and I'll do all the front here. You can see the. The clear coat's flaking off from where I've done it in the past. It's just a massive rush job. I've done this after a night shift. So yeah, I gave the um, the old clear coat a cut, just as tough as a roughen it up a bit, and then I put the um, the colour over it and clear. And yeah, it's obviously hasn't stuck well. So yeah, I'll, I'll I'll take me time. I'll get the car propped up on stands so I can get in there. And I noticed um, yeah, this is starting to flake. There's a bit of damage here too where the car was that low in the past that it's it's scuffed down underneath it real badly and you know, just needs a good cut now the rest of the car really I just run out of time I got to use this car tomorrow to tow the escort to the engineer Doesn't go as hard as the Escort, but um, sure as hell, it's good enough for a daily driver. So what I'll do now, put this car away. I've off to um, put the Escort in the trailer tomorrow and take the Escort to the engineer. Hopefully he passes it, and then yeah, get back to work on this old girl. And um, I'll leave her locked up here tonight. And, um, the Escort's all good to go. Sitting there parked up, waiting as usual. I'm always waiting, waiting, waiting. You book it in with the engineer, but it's all a matter of time when he's free to look at it again. But hopefully if he passes this tomorrow, he gets the paperwork through to me, I'll get the blue slip, and then, yeah, sweet, I'll be driving the old girl. So, yeah, I'll wrap it up for this video.